I'm always very excited to visit Mapalan, set in the Isimangaliso Wetland Park. Mapalan must be under my top 10 fishing destinations, as well as just pure, fantastic scenery. For many years we used to come here 4 or 5 times a year, and almost never left disappointed. Northeast the pump yesterday, it's already blowing this morning. I took a walk down Crayfish Bay about one and a half, gets to close to two k's if you come past, and we need to wait for the tide to drop. The sea is actually very big, so I might get all over right here, and then hopefully, if the tide drops, we can get out a bit on, on Crayfish Reef to get into the back on that side. I'm going to use the, the Saltus Grinder Elite 15 foot just to get distance. And I'm um, using my Saltus 8000 with 48 pound Cobra braid. And uh, I'll just fish it to a 4 0 uh, ring soy, little chocker, red eye, chocker prawn bait, put it on the back and see what we can lure in. There was just some chases down there on the reef. We can't get there yet. Um, looks like GTs. Um, if you hook one of them, they'll probably cut you off there. So it's a horrible little place there to get to. But uh, they'll be in front of this reef as soon as the tide drops, they'll go over and that's where we're going to fish. So let's get going. See it's on its head, so I'm uh, fishing a 7 ounce grab lure. Okay. Skip it and this one now I'll put a bit further, I'll go a bit further out. There's a big bank there uh, in the distance. It's very big though, the water. The swells are coming through. There was a thunderstorm last night, so I think that plays a role. But uh, I'll go put it there in the back and see if we can lure in something there. when you're fishing these areas with reef to fish a much lighter sinker line. Yeah, I'm using a 0.60 Kingfisher and my hook snoot is a 0.70. You can even go to a 0.50 or a 0.55 that will be perfect. The reason I'm using a 0.60 is because I'm using a 7 ounce sinker. I'm going to switch to a 6 ounce. I can't use a sinker for fish, I didn't bring that many sinkers. And another way to, to ensure your sinker breaks off is to make a knot, just a plain granny knot, I'll show you guys now. You just take your sinker, make it one loop, granny knot, like that. You take it down, ooh, your sinker doesn't fall. Take it down to your think uh, here we go you just put it tight in that's where it will break
almost 17 years. Yeah. I've met Lawrence here at Mapalan every time we come here. And he came next to me and said this morning, yo, the water doesn't feel right. And I said, no, we'll get a fish. But look at this lovely speckle snapper, which I haven't seen in a while in Mapalan. I haven't been here so often, but it's nice to see them coming back. We get them at Vital, we get them at Sodwana a lot. And a really good size, I would say. Three, three and a half, maybe four kilos on a prawn chocker. And it wasn't five minutes. Five minutes. Spot on. Nice oh. bait. Lawrence tied a real neat little bait. Thanks, Arthur. There we go. <laughs> well done. We're going to move now. It's pushing over crayfish now. We're going to move back halfway to the bay. There's a nice hole there. And on the push, see what we can scratch out there. Alright, we uh, had a couple of throws here quickly at this spot. A lot of weed. Really frustrating. Obviously, with a with tide pushing over here, it's got a suction out that nice gap there. But uh, it's just too much and all the weed you get stuck in. So we're going to move back and see maybe later this afternoon or tonight what we can do. In the evening the weather turned quite bad and we were better off spending some time in the camp. Absolutely fantastic morning uh, at Mapalan. Obviously, it's the morning we're packing up and we're leaving after four or five days of horrible weather, and that's how it works. Um, the fishing was dismal, really. We didn't get much fish, but that's uh, the chance you take when you're fishing over the full moon, spring, that you can. It can come with a lot of bad weather, but it can also be very, very productive. Uh, it's a pity I can't extend the trip. Um, but I'm definitely coming back here because now it's a challenge. <laughs> um, the way I remember this place is there's a lot of options, a lot of fish you can catch. Obviously the estuary being closed plays a big role in uh, the fish moving in and out here. There's been some uh, big, there was one sighting of a big tiger shark, probably too big to handle on the rod, but nothing's too big to try. Uh, in the bay here that came in and then big Zambezi sharks that came in and out obviously looking for the estuary that's currently closed because they're going there to breed um, which is quite sad the bay is washed out nice and deep uh, the sunset is actually beautiful in the back and uh, this because the fish has been coming into the bay it's a very nice big opening i just put a nice big shark bait on a slide for a shark and now i'm going to just put a, a throw trace on the grind elite to uh, to lure in maybe a flatty or something else uh, there was just a chase in the bay, so I've also got the spinning rod here. I'll throw a popo or two. There was kingies yesterday, but small kingies. And uh, we'll see if we can lure one of them. And that's the options you have, you know, when you when you fish here. Unfortunately, you have to put in the hours when you get here, 12, 12 hour sessions. So you can see the pattern with the tides. When are the fish coming in, When you, especially when you fish the bay and stuff. When you go down to the ledges and the edible spots, uh, you, you fish three, four hours before low and you fish that pulling tide and the turn of the tide and a little bit of the push but it's uh, normally more production, uh, productive when it pulls back. Um, on my slide rod, that's uh, the Saltus 14 foot 3 with the new Saltiga 50 and I'm always excited to, to hook a fish on that drill because it's phenomenal what they've done with that, the engineering, the smooth drag and just everything and the casting is even better you all know that Saltigo was one of one of the better casting reels for distance this one tops it 
and a couple of guys have confirmed that I thought it was just me uh, or my imagination because it's a new reel you know you can play with your head but it's uh, not at all it's really up there and then obviously my Saltus 8000 fitted on the Grinder Elite with 48 pound Cobra braid and uh, I'm just busy tying a leader here using the the FG knot, the fine grain knot and uh, on here, on this I'll probably put so either octopus or a mackerel we'll see put the octopus maybe we can lure in a big edible that's swimming out here but yeah let's get fishing let's talking I'll talk a bit later again when there's action Now these were one of the trips to Mapalanda that didn't quite turn out the way we expected, but we'll definitely be back.